Rocket artillery is one of the most destructive weapons on the modern battlefield. Designed to pump out a high volume of fire within a short period, rocket artillery systems are particularly dangerous in their ability to obliterate a position before units have a chance to take cover. The Lockheed Martin M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS, is a full-spectrum, combat-proven, all-weather, lethal and responsive, precision strike weapon system. The HIMARS launcher is a C-130 transportable, wheeled, indirect fire, rocket or missile launcher capable of engaging a variety of targets while firing all rockets and missiles in the current and future multiple launch rocket system family of munitions and army tactical missile system family of munitions. The HIMARS battery can fire 6 MLRS rockets or 1 AT AC MS out to ranges of as much as 185 miles or 300 kilometers. The HIMARS launcher has extensive commonality in both functionality and operational employment with the MLRS M270A1 track launcher used by the guided multiple launch rocket system. It consists of a fire control system, a carrier FMTV, and a launcher loader module that performs all operations necessary to complete a fire mission. HIMARS also satisfies the U.S. Army's digitization requirements by interfacing with the Advanced Field Artillery Tactical Data System Fire Support Command and Control System. HIMARS, as part of the Fire's Brigade, provides fires that shape, shield, and isolate the battle space and while using both precision GMLRS and ATACMS unitary munitions, HIMARS provides close support fires for troops in contact in both open and urban terrain. The HIMARS provides U.S. and Allied forces with a flexible and lethal rocket or missile capability. HIMARS units can be quickly tailored for centralized or decentralized execution throughout the entire battle space in support of ground forces. Mission to provide 24-hour ground-based, responsive general support or general support reinforcing indirect fire, which accurately engages targets at long ranges, 37 plus miles or 60 plus kilometer, with high volumes of lethal fire under all weather conditions throughout all phases of combat operations ashore including irregular warfare and distributed operations. <laughs> HIMARS was initially fielded in May 2005. In 2007, the U.S. Marine Corps received its first HIMARS launchers. HIMARS has been deployed to both Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom by both U.S. Army and Marine Corps units. In September 2011, Lockheed Martin delivered the 400th HIMARS launcher to the U.S. Army. In January 2016, HIMARS reached 1 million operational hours and boasts a 99% operational readiness rate over the past 10 years. The Army plans to extend the operational life of HIMARS and MLRS beyond 2050, which represents an approximate 20-year increase in the operational service life. Lockheed Martin manufactures the HIMARS chassis and launcher components in Camden, Arkansas. While precision fires of this kind would, quite naturally, be useful in full-scale mechanized force-on-force -force combat, they proved particularly useful in Ukraine. As a result, precision attacks became necessary, even vital, to U.S. combat success. <laughs>